Welcome to Pause on Purpose, and I hope you're enjoying this week. We're talking about imparting courage to others, and uh, we got another verse here. And although the character himself isn't in talking to someone like Paul was yesterday and like Joshua was the day before, his life and his example imparts encouragement and courage to us today. Our pause on purpose is Mark 15, verse 43. Now, let me read it for you. Some, but before I do, just some context. This is right at the tail end of Jesus's crucifixion. He has already died on the cross. And there's a gentleman that comes forth, Joseph of Arimathea. Now, if you remember your Bible class, Joseph of Arimathea is the one that offered his brand new grave to lay the body of Jesus. And so he goes to Pilate, the Roman governor, to ask for the body. Notice what it says here. Joseph of Arimathea took a risk, key word, he took a risk, key phrase, and went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body. Now, why was that a risk? Well, they just crucified this guy. And if they found out another loyalist, someone that was uh, uh, connected to Jesus, he, he, he thinks that his head might be on a platter. But he takes a risk. He goes to Pilate and asks for Jesus' body. Then Mark adds a footnote. And our editors put this in parentheses. Mark says this. Joseph was an honored member of the high council. What high council? Of the Roman government? No, no. Joseph of Arimathea was a leading Jew and part of the high council of the Jewish leaders in Jerusalem. So he took a risk on two factors, one with the civil government, Rome, Pilate, and the other, his position with the Jewish council, both for the same reason, because of his identification with Jesus took a huge risk on both parts. See, if the Jews found out that he was loyal to Jesus, they would have kicked him out of the high council and he would have been isolated, or we might use the word excommunicated, from the Jewish community. Nobody would have done business with them. Nobody would have sold them anything. Why? Because of his alliance with Jesus. That's why Mark says he took a risk. Now, let's finish up here. He says he was a member of the high council and he was waiting for the kingdom of God to come. Okay, now let's get back to our pause on purpose here and bring this home for us. How does that help us draw courage in our lives? You know what? You may be facing something that is an ultimate risk of compromise. If you don't show your hand as a Christian, you're going to compromise your faith. If you do, you're going to take a risk like Joseph of Arimathea. Now, I can tell you that I've gone through something like this very similarly, and it cost me my friendships. It cost me my relationships on a college campus, so much so that I had to transfer to a different college when I was a kid because I stood up for Christ for once in my life, and I was ostracized, completely ostracized. No one talked to me. It's a long story, but all I did was claim my faith, and people ostracized me. And Joseph claimed his faith and loyalty to Christ, and he asked for the body of Jesus. Thankfully, Pilate didn't think anything. He just said, go ahead, take it away. And I don't know if the Jews ever find out. The Bible is not clear about that. There's no record whether or not the Jewish council found out Joseph was loyal. But I tell you what, he was, he was willing to take the risk. And Mark tells us why he was able to take it. It says that he was waiting for the kingdom of God. What does that mean? He was waiting for the Lord return. He had so much faith that the Lord was going to return and set up his kingdom that he was willing to take the risk for the kingdom and take a stand. Because he knew sooner or later, 
he was going to have to face the king. And he didn't want to do it with shame. So he takes a stand, he finds the courage, and he asks for the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave it to him. He buried Jesus in the tomb, and we know the rest of the story. Three days later, Jesus rises from the, tomb, uh, from the grave and the resurrection. And Joseph's faith is proven true. Beloved, I know I say it, but go with God because he goes with you. And more importantly, take that risk. Like Joseph, find the courage to take the risk and make a stand. Ask for the body of Jesus, if you will. Take the stand and show your loyalty to Jesus Christ. You'll be thankful you did. And we're praying for you.